three, two, one. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh wow. An incredible moment. It happened just a few hours ago. A remote controlled NASA spacecraft smashing into an asteroid, and it was on purpose. It is the very first attempt to alter an asteroid's orbit, and it was done in the name of planetary defense. A step towards a future where asteroids on a collision course with Earth could be redirected. Mike Crawley's in Toronto tonight. Mike, give us a sense of, of the magnitude of this mission. Well, Ian, typically NASA sends rockets towards large targets like the moon or some planets. Well, this asteroid called Dimorphos, it's about the size of the Great Pyramid in Egypt, or imagine an NHL arena. Now imagine hitting that from about 11 million kilometers away. NASA launched this mission last November. It sent up a spaceship that's about the size of a big refrigerator, and it was traveling around 22,000 kilometers an hour on impact. And here's how that looked for the team at Mission Control. All right. We got it? Waiting. Waiting. And we have Every impact. <laughs> a giant leap for humanity in the name of planetary defense. Woo. Fantastic. Now, it's important for me to mention, Ian, that this was only a test. Dimorphos is not actually a threat to Earth. Excellent point to make, uh, but this testing if we could deflect an asteroid that's heading towards our planet. How, how big a concern is that scenario? Well, a big asteroid hitting Earth would have cataclysmic consequences. Just think about what happened to the dinosaurs. But scientists don't know of any such large asteroids that are headed our way in the next, next century, but even small ones could pose danger. This asteroid was just 20 meters wide and it exploded over Russia in 2013. About 1,000 people were injured in the shockwave. And that is why tonight's test matters. I definitely think that, as far as we can tell, our first planetary defense test was a success, and I think we can clap to that. Now, although the spaceship did hit the target, the people behind this mission are still waiting to find out if the impact successfully altered the asteroid's orbit, and they won't know the full details of that for a few weeks. Ian? All right, good to know. Thanks, Mike.